Today I received my Xenoblade Chronicles package from Japan, so I figured we might as well go ahead and open it here together. There's quite a few goodies in here. A lot of them are pretty small, but uh, it deserves a video nonetheless. I used Baiyi to import all this stuff. That's generally the place I go to when I want to purchase stuff on Yahoo Auctions Japan and other places in like uh, Mercari Japan and those sorts of places. Let's just go ahead and take it out of the box here. All right, already you can kind of see what I got. Most of this is Xenoblade uh, 1 stuff, but there is some. there is one Xenoblade 2 thing in here. Well, they definitely wrapped all that very nice and tightly. Uh, I still got a whole bunch more to undo there. But this right here, it was a My Nintendo reward for Japan only. We did not get this one in North America. Uh, it's a Melia microfiber cloth. This was officially called the Melia die cut cloth. And it was 300 platinum points in Japan for their my nintendo rewards program and this one should look familiar to everyone in the u.s because we did have this on our my nintendo rewards but it sold out immediately uh, and this was the monado smartphone ring so fortunately these are still super cheap in japan this was like five bucks so i picked that up because they're like 30 to 40 in the u.s to buy them from a scalper uh, next up we've got this let me try and get it out of here without getting it stuck to anything. And here we have the Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition Future Connected uh, Microfiber Cloth. This was a pre-order exclusive bonus from uh, Rakuten Books in Japan. I probably pronounced that wrong, but there's the logo uh, for the place I'm talking about. But this was, if you pre-order the game early, this is what you got as your reward. Next up, more stuff I get to struggle with. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and open this one next. Next up is the Metallic Museum Monado Keychain. Uh, now this one fortunately is still sealed, but I think I'm going to open it and ruin its value uh, because I really want to see it. Uh, this thing is super priced in the US. Uh, it was only ever released in Japan, but people who imported it, scalpers, jacked the price way up. So if you want to pick this up, I recommend importing it from Japan, because it's a whole lot cheaper. I didn't have to rip that packaging at all, actually, so I I guess I'm not out of anything. Alright, and there we have it. Oh, that is stunning. This is made out of zinc, um, from what the listings say. Let's see, it's metallic. It's let to grab it and see how heavy it is. That definitely has some heft to it. The camera really doesn't want to pick it up because it's very dark. <laughs> it's a little darker than I would initially think a Minato would look. But no, that's hefty and definitely metal. Let's go ahead and put that back in its little case. All right, and there we have it. Right back where it belongs. <laughs> All right, let's go with this one here next. Here we have the original release of the Xenoblade soundtrack. This was released in Japan in 2010. And from what I've read, it was brought over to Europe and Australia as well. Um, but this is the Japanese copy of it. So we can see Shulk and Fiora there in a really cute art style. And we've got a little side label there and the disc. I don't think there's anything hidden behind it now. So there's that. We're getting down to the last couple things here. Last two things. Let's go with this one next. Here we have another pre-order exclusive bonus for Japan. This one here was for if you pre-ordered from Amazon and it's another future connected advertisement pack-in. Uh, it's just like a nice little thick cardboard poster of uh, the DLC photo. So I have plenty of pictures of this now. <laughs> All right, and I saved the best for last here, something that I meant to order like two years ago and never did. And finally got a hold of it now, 
after the price went way up. So here we have the Japanese Collector's Edition for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Now you may be thinking that this looks identical to the one we got in the US, but there was actually quite a, a lot of differences. So if we go ahead, we can already see that this cover isn't reflective at all of the one we have. Uh, at the end, I'll bring over the American box and show you the differences. But for now, let's just get to opening this. So this one actually opens from the top. And I did not get a copy of the game with it because copy of the game in Japan right now and everywhere sells for like $90. So everything except the game is in here, which is perfectly fine with me. I didn't, I don't need more copies of it in here. So here we have their version of the Steelbook. Their Steelbooks are CD or for the CD uh, soundtracks. So there we go. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Not, or Xenoblade 2, it's not, the Chronicles isn't in the Japan one. So we've got a nice disc there. Our sound selection, and behind this is something that many people don't realize. There's actually an alternate cover for the game tucked away inside of the CD case. So I will go ahead and put this on a case here in a second. But let's see what the steelbook looks like without anything in it. So there you go. I don't I don't exactly oh okay, it's the I see it now. It's it's very difficult to see, but it's the world tree and it's like sacred arrow coming down. That is what it looks like to me. But at least all, all I can tell you is that that is the world tree definitely. So there's that. Let's go ahead and put this away and I'll put this in a case. And real quick the back of the music selection is Pyro. Here is that alternate cover art in the case and it even has a back to it which is kind of strange since it's included in this but it at least gives you the rating and everything on the info and then the inside it's a beautiful depiction of Araya and you can see Morag just standing there oh and Bridget this thing's very very dark um but yeah so that's a very beautiful case right there. That is an officially released one too. Underneath here we will find our book. Now this book is soft cover, unlike the hardcover one in the US. But it's the same cover art, a uh, different back art though than the US one. And it still makes the sword in the spine, just like the US one does. And let's flip through here real quick. Sure, we'll call that good. Uh, let me gather up the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 US edition and just show you real quick the differences and then we'll go over everything we got. Alright, again here we can see everything. We can see the Japanese Collector's Edition stuff and the U.S. Collector's Edition stuff. So I hope this gives you a nice little overview of what the differences are because it's very difficult to find stuff in like the U.S. on uh, what all comes in the Japanese one and the differences. But you can obviously see the box is not metallic and not raised. Uh, the CD collections, we got the steel case for this one and the US one is in a paper case and the CD even has different artwork the soundtrack is the exact same though. so you the same songs on uh, the Japanese one we would have actually gotten a case with the game but that's okay uh, the US case here real quick nice and simple so that's that's even another different artwork they're not even the same which is kind of cool and then the soft cover and hardcover books up top that you can kind of halfway see and here we can see everything that i got in this haul from japan now i'll be honest uh, i won most of these things at auctions for five dollars or less so i mean importing stuff from japan is pretty handy um and this video was not sponsored by Baiyu, but once again that is the place i use whenever i import stuff from Japan, uh, such as this, because you can generally get better deals in auctions uh, than you can on 
the U.S. eBay for the sellers shipped from Japan. They normally know what stuff sells for in the U.S. after it's imported, and those prices reflect that. But thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. I haven't done a haul like this before, so let me know what you guys thought and if you liked it. And I might do more when I get more stuff in someday down in the future. Uh, thanks again for watching. Thank you.